further in Surah Hajj 22 and Ayah 26. وَإِذْ بَوَّعَنَا لِبْرَاهِيمَ مَكَانَ الْبَيْتِ أَلَّا تُشْرِكْ بِي شَيْئًا وَطَّهِرْ بَيْتِيَا لِلْطَائِفِينَ وَالْقَائِمِينَ وَالْرُكْعِ السُّجُودِ When we pointed out the place of the house to Ibrahim that you do not associate anything with me and purify my house for those who go round those who go round who stand who bow and prostrate. Now can you see in the eyes two things going on? Look, Allah says we pointed to Ibrahim a.s. the place of the house. We pointed out the place of the house to Ibrahim said that you do not associate anything with me and purify my house. And what tahir baitiya, what tahir baitiya, purify my house, litaifina, those people who are doing tawaf. Who are going around the Kaaba? One act. The other is well, Qaimina, they are standing, well, Rukur, they are doing Rukur, post, uh, bowing, and Sujood, prostration. Now, can you see these two? The Salah, Qayyam, Ruku, Sujood, Qayyam, Ruku, Sujood is prayer, the format. I am bringing the format to you of the Salah. In the Salah, what you do? Qayyam, Ruku, and Sujood. We stand, we bow and prostrate. So this was pointed out to Ibrahim al Islam that people are standing, bowing and prostrating, that is establishing the salah. The other is they are going around the Kaaba, tawaf. So half would be the salah. The other half you have to go there and perform. So but Allah says that you purify my house. That means people still yet today, their, their concept of the house is not purified. The house of Allah. In their, in their minds there are 600 and 360 idols in the house of God. First, first mistake. Second mistake, you are not facing the Kaaba only, you are a half of the sacred mosque. Today you come to know. The other half for tawaf and umrah you have to go. You are practicing the same thing but you are confirming from the ayats. Almost everybody does that. You establishing the salat prayer all over the world. It is the half of the sacred mosque. For salah you are practicing the same thing. But if for umrah and hajj you have to go there. So it mentions وَالطَّهِرْ بَيْتِيَا لِلطَّائِفِينَ وَالْعَاكِفِينَ وَالْقَائِمِينَ وَالْرُكَعِ سُجُودِ Tawaf is there. Going round is there. Going the round of the house of there. The people are standing and bowing and prostrating. Now, Allah appoint, pointed out for Ibrahim al Islam these people were doing there this act. People were performing that this thing. They were going around the Kaaba. They were standing and bowing and prostrating. Allah asked Ibrahim, pointed out Ibrahim said that you purify my house for these people who are doing this, who are doing tawaf, who are standing and bowing and prostrating. You purify my house. So that means Allah's house was there. And Qayyam, Ruku and Sujood was going on. The standing and bowing and prostrating, the Salah was being established. Now what the same thing Ibrahim al Islam says when he is leaving from this world or he was, uh, he says in Surah Al Ibrahim 1437, Rabbana inni askantu min dhuryati bi wadin ghayri min al nas I have settled from my offspring within the valley which is without cultivation near your sacred house, O our Lord, so that they establish the salah, the prayer. So make the hearts of the people desirable towards them and give them sustenance from the fruits so that they may be thankful. In this ayah, if you note that Ibrahim a.s. was before I read an ayah, was Ibrahim Allah pointed the, the place of house to Ibrahim al-Islam. Now Ibrahim al-Islam is saying that, Oh my Lord, surely I have settled my offsprings near your sacred house so that they establish the salah. So that Qayyam Ruku Sujood that was pointed to him, he says to that is salah, the prayer. 
You must listen to me very carefully. You see, in the previous ayat, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Allah pointed to him was standing, bowing and prostrating of the people. When he is leaving, he is saying to the Allah, O oh, our Lord, you have, I have settled from my offsprings with the valley which is without cultivation near your sacred house so that they establish the Salah. So Salah is a part of Qayyam. It contains standing, bowing and prostrating. From the ayahs, he says that they establish the Salah. The rest is Tawaf. I told you. So he, he used this thing near your house. I'm settling down my offspring so they, they establish the Salah, the prayer. So all we are getting is the focus is the Kaaba. The center point is there. Surah Al Imran 397. Fihi ayatum bayyina tum in it are clear ayahs, signs, the standing position of Ibrahim. Whoever enters in it attains security. And for Allah is pilgrimage the, of the house on the people, those who can afford the journey to it. And in, if anyone rejects, rejects, so surely Allah is not needful from the worlds. In this ayah, I'm just making a point that in the house of Allah, when, the, the, when Allah pointed out to Ibrahim al-Islam, the place of the house, he mentioned that you purify my house for those who are going around, tawaf, and they were standing and bowing and prostrating. So then he said, Oh Allah, I am settling my offsprings near your sacred house, so they established the salah. So Allah gave him a, an honor. Allah gave Ibrahim al -Islam an honor as muqam Ibrahim. Fihi ayatum bayinatum muqam Ibrahim in the house of Allah. In the house of Allah, Allah gave Ibrahim al-Islam an honor, the standing position of Ibrahim al-Islam. So that standing position of Ibrahim al-Islam is referred in the Quran. He is the Imam, that is the honor in the house of Allah. Where the Imam stands and leads the prayer is muqam ibrahim is the standing position of Ibrahim. So that Imam, the leader where he prays, is the, is the Maqam Ibrahim. So now Surah Baqarah 2 and Ayah 125. وَإِذْ وَاتَّخِذُوا مِن مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُصَلَّى وَعَهِدْنَا إِلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَائِلَ أَنْ طَيْرَى بَيْتِيَ لِلطَّائِفِينَ وَالْعَاكِفِينَ وَالْرُكَّعِ السُّجُودِ And when we made the house a place of reward and safety for people, and you take the place of Salah, the prayer, from the standing position of Ibrahim. And we covenanted with Ibrahim and Ismail that they should purify my house for those who go around and use as etika for retreat and for those who bow prostrate. Now in this ayah, our <laughs> main emphasis is what takhidu mim maqami Ibrahim Musalla. And you take the place of Salah prayer from the standing position of Ibrahim. So what I was referring to, now you have to take, you people, all of us have to take the Salah from the standing position of Ibrahim. So do you find that first tool from there you will take your Salah? Hello? What Takhidu? Mim maqami Ibrahima musalla. What takhidu means you take. Mim maqam means the standing position, the station, the status. From the standing position of Ibrahim, your salah. Musalla means the place of prayer. This musalla. So we know for sure that the imam that leads prayer is the standing position of Ibrahim. So from that position of Ibrahim, you take your Salah, wherever you are in the world. So now you know the format, how you get the format. Allah did not say you find books and find out how the Salah is being ordered. The Salah is ordained in the house of God and the standing of position of Ibrahim is ordained in the house of Allah. So everybody all over the world, 
have to take the half the sacred mosque from the sacred mosque intersection is that is the salah from the standing position of Ibrahim from the status and honor that the Imam leads to prayer I am not following the Imam the, he may have some wrong we are not talking about the concepts of Imam what concepts is a Shafi or what you humbly what you call no the format of the salah we have to take the format what the khidu mim maqam Ibrahim Salah. it is the whole in one word he gave the whole full status the timings, you see, everything is in one word, Musalla. Musalla means place of prayer. Musalla means place of prayer. So you take your salah from where? From the Musalla of Ibrahim, the standing Muqam Ibrahim. So Imam is leading, where Imam is praying, in the Masjid Haram, the sacred mosque, you have to take your salah from there. So if we call them wrong, you are wrong. Now the same after Ibrahim Islam in Surah Yunus 10 and 87 ayat wa awhayna ila Musa wa akhihi an tabawwa li qaumikum bi misra buyutan waj'alu buyutakum buyutakum qibla wa aqimu as-salah wa bashil mu'minin and we inspired to Musa Moses and his brother that you point out houses for your people in Egypt and make your houses a qibla that is the intersection of the sacred mosque and establish salah prayer and give new, good news to the believers. Now in this ayah, let's say we inspired Musa and Harun, his brother, that you pointed out, he pointed out the house for, for the people in Egypt, that they make their house a qibla. How you can make a house a qibla? Qibla, I told you, means a direction of belief. And if you make a house a qibla, means the front should point in front should be facing the Kaaba because in the sacred mosque people are facing the Kaaba in the sacred mosque people are playing and all around are facing the Kaaba so it is not what we are becoming a half of the sacred mosque but our houses are facing the Kaaba making the Qibla so every mosque and in the mission Allah says to Musa Salam and his brother that he pointed out, uh, you pointed a house for your people in Egypt and make your houses a qibla because Firon was ruling, Firon was in power, so it was difficult to establish or have mosque at that time. So Allah ordained that in the Egypt where Firon was the ruler, so you make your houses a qibla. That means you can establish the salah, the prayer in your houses, in your houses. And it was an awhayna means we inspired ila Musa Wahi is a Musa Islam and his brother An Tabawa li Kaumi Kuma bi Misra Buyutam Waj Alu Buyutakum Tibla. We inspired to Musa, Moses and his brother that you point out houses for your people in Egypt and make your houses a tibla. So you can establish Salah in your house. If it is required so, whether if you are living in international war, international countries where you don't find a mosque nearby, it is not necessary you have to go to the mosque. It all depends upon the situation. So Allah inspired Musa and his brother to make your houses a qibla and establish the salah. Wajalu buyutum qibla wa salah. Make your houses a qibla means, means that the, the, the the house front was facing the Kaaba and they were establishing the Salah and still today if you are living in a country and there is mosques are very far off mosques should be built I am not denying this in every parts of the world there should be mosques but if you are supposed in, in a country where people are forcing you not to build any mosque not to have azans not to have the why you don't have to be mischief you can establish your Salah in your house and this was inspired to Musa, the messenger, Harun Islam, the messenger. And you must understand, Salah is just a communication between God Almighty, or you reading the ayats, and the messenger. You are just repeating that. Your Salah should be accepted the nearness of Allah when you understand what is being revealed to Musa Salam, and you believe in it. 
or where it is being revealed to Musa Salam and his brother that you pointed out you, the houses are also for, uh, to, for establishing the prayer. So nowadays people say you can't establish the salah in the house. Why can't, why can't we? We can. If the situation arises, we can establish the salah in, the, in your house with your family members. So it is there mentioned. Now you, about the mosque also, the same Surah, surah Ra'af 729. قُلْ أَمَرَ رَبِّي بِالْقِسْتِ وَقِيمُوا وُجُوهَكُمْ عِنْدَ كُلِّ مَسْجِدٍ وَدْعُوهُمْ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينِ كَمَا بَدَأَكُمْ تَعُودُونَ Say, my Lord has ordered with justice and that you establish your faces in salah prayer near every mosque and call him, making the judgment exclusively for him as he originated you, so you will come back. So in this ayah, simply means that Allah has ordered with justice that you establish your wuju or your, your, your personalities referring to mankind, believers, and establish the salah near the, in the, near, in the, in the, in the kulli mas, every mosque. So now the mosque is also mentioned in the Quran and all the mosques are facing, the, their qibla is facing the sacred mosque. And even if you, if you are establishing the salah in your house, the qibla should be facing the sacred mosque, the, the, the physical structure. And what we are doing, we are establishing the salah only here. We are not doing tawaf here. Only the half of the sacred mosque. 9, 18, and 17. First, I read the 18. Innama ya'amru masajid Allahi man amana billahi wal yawmil akhir wa qama salata wa ata zaka wa lam yaksha illa Allah fa asa ulaika in yakunu mil mutadeen. Surely the mosques of Allah is visited by the one who believes with Allah and the last day and who established the salah, the prayer who gives zakah justification, who fear none except Allah, so it may be that they will be among those who are guided. Now, in this ayah, I just want to establish one point that there are mosques in the world. All over the world, the masjid, the mosques are facing the sacred mosque, the Kaaba, number one. And these are the people who are, who are making these mosques. There are people who, Allah says, who believe with Allah and the last day. They are spending their lives in the mosque and they are establishing the salah, the prayer. And they do not fear anyone except Allah. And, and these are the people who are guided. So we, we, we can, for surety, there are people in the whole world that the mosques are being established by the believers. They spend their lives in the mosque and they establish the salah, the prayer. No problem with it. But there are other types of people, I told you, that mentioned in the following ayat is مَا كَانَ لِلْمُشْرِكِينَ أَنْ يَعْمُرُوا مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ شَاهِدِينَ عَلَىٰ عَنْفُسِمْ بِالْكُفُرُ أُولَيْكَ حَبِتَتْ أَعْمَالُهُمْ وَفِي النَّارِهُمْ خَالِدُونَ It is not for the mushriks or the associates who associates with Allah that they visit the mosque of Allah they are witness over their self soul psyche with rejection they are those whose works have failed and they will be in the fire forever. So in the mosque there are two types of people. People are spending their time in the mosque. The next type of people are the mushrik who associates with Allah. And believe me, you must understand mushriks are not the Hindus or the Christians. You see, this is a very amazing thing. People have labeled Everybody, these Hindus are the mushriks, the Christians are the mushriks. What about us? If I believe in the ayat, if I understand the ayat, I believe that. And at the same time, I believe my learned peoples. What they say, whether it is in contradiction to the ayat. So this is known as believing in Allah's ayat, Allah, and at the same time, somebody else's ideas. So you are a mushrik, you are assorting with Allah's words. You cannot associate anything with Allah. Anything means not with the word Allah, what he says in the ayahs. If you associate, in, like for example, I am saying, I'm saying something. You listen to my words and you repeat my words and at the same time you associate your concept and associate in my words. Will be shirk, association in my word. Similarly, Allah is saying in the ayahs something and you remain there, you listen to that, 
and you agree to that, yes, this is all right, but this is also right. So that association is a mushrik. So even Allah said they are spending their life in their mosque and their, their works will be wasted because they are agreeing to the Allah's ayahs, meaning Allah, they are saying this, Allah said this right, this right, we, we should take the, the prayer from the standing position of Ibrahim, but their salat is different. So they are spending their life in the mosque, they remain like that, they don't change. So what Allah says in Surah Anfal 8 and 34 and 35, وَمَا لَهُمْ أَلَّا يُعَذِّبَهُمُ اللَّهِ وَهُمْ يَسُدُّونَ عَلَى الْمَسْجِ الْحَرَامِ وَمَا كَانُوا أَوْلِيَاءَهُ إِنْ أَوْلِيَاهُ لِلْمُتَّقُونَ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ وَمَا كَانَ الصَّلَاةُ مِنْ دَ الْبَيْتِ إِلَّا مُقَامُ وَتَصْدِيَهُ فَذُوقُوا الْعَذَابِ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْفُرُونَ And what is for them? That Allah should not punish them and that they are in opposition about the sacred mosque and they are not its protectors. The protectors are none except the guarded ones, but majority of them do not have knowledge. Their salah, prayer near the house is nothing except whistling and clapping. So you taste the punishment with what you reject. Now my question is to whom am I speaking like this? Who are those who are in opposition of the sacred mosque? Are we opposition of the sacred mosque, the, the physical structure? or the establishment of salah that is being established in the house of Allah. So Allah says, your salah near the house, when you go there, you have your own way of doing it, it's whistling and slapping, clapping of hands in the nearness of Allah. If you're not going to practice the salah as ordained by Allah in the sacred mosque, the imam stands and pray. If you do not take the format, that format, the other formats are like whistling and clapping of hands in the nearness of house of Allah. Not me saying it's in there. And he said, why will he not punish you? وَمَا لَهُمْ أَلَّا يُعَذِّبَهُمْ Allah. Why? Allah said, what is for them that Allah should not punish them? They are not the, they are in the opposition of the sacred mosque. وَهُمْ يَسُدُّونَ عَنِ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ They are in opposition of the sacred mosque. وَمَا كَانُوا أَوْلِيَاهُ They are not the protectors. In awliya al-mattaqoon And the mutaqeen or the awliya, the protester are the taqwa who guard. And most of it, and the majority of the people do not know that the guardians or the protectors of the sacred mosque are those people who are established in the same practice salah they are going on, who are not making any difference. If you make a difference, you are in opposition. And as he says, وَمَا كَانَ الصَّلَاةُ مِنْ الْبَيْتِ And your prayer near the house your prayer who goes there and establish his way of style, your style, your imam leader told you, is telling you your salah near the house is illa muqam wa tasdiyah. It is not that in the ancient time, people, you know, people put these eyes in the back at that time. No, now! So Allah says for Ibrahim al-Islam, You purify my house for them who are standing, who are bowing, who are prostrating. They're in their mind, the house of Allah and the sacred mosque is not purified because they think that is wrong, they are right, they are wrong, we are right. Living here, then you are talking about that. I am not telling, believe me, remember my words, I am not framing the Arabs. I am not talking about the Arabs. If you think like that, take out this in your mind. I am referring to the ayahs and ayahs says this. So you have to follow the ayahs, not the Arabs. Remember, I'm not favoring the Arabs. That the, the, the Arabs are like us. Human beings. They can do mistakes, that's not a problem. But we are talking about the formats that's in the Quranic ayahs I have read, and in the ayahs Allah is pointed to the sacred mosque. The Imam, the leader is Ibrahim Islam. So we are talking about the ayahs, not the Arabs. Now we come to Al Baqarah 2 and Ayah 150. Page 20. وَمِنْ حَيْثُ خَرَجْتَ فَوَلِّي وَجْهَكَ شَطْرَ الْمَسْجِ الْحَرَامِ وَحَيْثُ مَا كُنْتُمْ فَوَلُّوا وُجُوهَكُمْ شَطْرَةً لِأَلَّا يَكُونَ لِلنَّاسِ عَلَيْكُمْ حُجَّةً إِلَّا الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا مِنْهُمْ فَلَا تَقْشَوْهُمْ وَاقْشَوْنِي وَلْيُتِمَّ نِعْمَتِي عَلَيْكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَهْتَدُونَ And from wherever you come out, from any religion, any faith, so revert yourself to the intersection, half portion of the sacred mosque. And wherever you are, so revert yourself to its intersection portion 
there would be no dispute over you from the people except who are oppressors from them so fear them not but fear me and that I may complete my favors on you that you may be guided in this ayat you say Allah explains to you wherever in the world you come out or from any faith you come out you revert yourself to the intersection half of the sacred mosque that's your qibla direction of belief Tawalli wajaka shatral masjid haram and the half of the sacred mosque is wa takhidu min maqami ibrahim musalla you stay from the place of the standing position of ibrahim your salah that's your qibla tawalli wajaka shatral masjid haram you become half take the position from shatr means the half of the portion of the sacred mosque that's your qibla wa haythu ma kuntum fawallu wujuhukum shatra from wherever you come out you revert yourself to this intersection so why is it liyalla yakuna linnasi alaykum hujja so that there is no dispute over the people so if you if you if i if i establishes my press uh, uh, format from the imam the standing position of ibrahim so i am following the quranic ayats if you do not follow that allah said there is no dispute you, there will be no dispute over the people over you if he says li allah yakuna lin nas alaykum hujja so allah said revert your to its intersection portion there would be no dispute over you from the people because all of the people in their hearts have got high uh, standard for allah's house for kaaba for masjid haram so if you are taking the standing position from the standing position of ibrahim the salah perform so no problem but allah said there are people illa alladheena zalamu minhum except for those who are oppressors amongst them they will stick by to the same prayer the same standard so allah said except from the oppressors from them so fear them not do not fear them but fear me that i may complete my favors on you so that you may be guided so brother ladies and gentlemen it is up to us we have got the is as a proof to take your salah from the standing position of ibrahim that is the format now we have to see the timings first you must understand that the kaaba or the mecca is almost the center of the world if you know or you don't know so the day and night you see the, the earth is divided to latitudes and longitudes so latitudes like this and in traveling you have to know these latitudes long i'm just telling you this so that you may understand that on in traveling in the world we have to know these these are by this latitude longest cross you make position and travel traveling in the world you have to know the positions so now this latitude the earth or the, the makkah is almost the center where night and day is almost 12 uh, hours night and 12 hours day in a 24 hours the 24 hours is divided into night and day right 24 hours is equal to one day when we say one day means night and a day so now we have to know the timings of the salah prayer surah nisa 4103 faida qadaytum as-salah fadhkurullaha qiyaman wa qu'udan wa ala junubikum faidat ma faidat ma anantum faqimu as-salah inna salata kanat ala al-mu'minin kitaban mawquta so when you complete the shortened salah prayer then remember allah is standing and sitting and on your sides when you are in tranquility then establish the salah prayer surely the salah prayer timings are written over the believers so allah says in this whole ayat i'm just making a point the salah the prayer timings are written over the believers so <laughs> you know the prayer timings are written over the believers when the the fajr timing and the zohar timing and the asar time in the maghrib and isha five times a day in the sacred mosque so the difference is only 12 hours day and 12 hours night except 10 minutes in a year so it is almost 12 hours day and 12 hours night but what i am trying to say allah said the believers know the timing is written over them so i already explained to you the time is within timing is within us the clock is within us now for the timing of the salah prayer is written on us the believers know this 